Before the financial crisis, private equity investors would hardly invest into banks. It was too complex. It was thought, you know, it's a regulated industry. And maybe most importantly, our banks themselves were buying other banks. Or there was no space for private equity. Or after Lehman, that has changed dramatically. Our banks themselves could no longer buy other banks. They needed to focus on their own uh, banking assets and needed to refocus and need to get rid of non-core non assets. So there were more business opportunities, more opportunities for private equity investors to step in and to buy financial assets at attractive uh, valuations. That's a trend we've seen for the last five or six years and we see um, continuing, we think. But the interesting thing we're beginning to see now in the last 12 months or so is that some of the uh, European banks who've survived the financial crisis and have done reasonably well out of the, um, the last few years, they've repaired their balance sheets or perhaps were not affected quite as badly as, as the larger banks. And those smaller and medium-sized banks are coming back to the table and beginning to, to dip their toe into the M&A market. For example, Sabadell buying TSB. Um, you've got a medium-sized Spanish bank buying a medium-sized UK bank. And the question is, is that the beginning of a new wave of consolidation amongst some of the medium players in the European market. If that does happen, then the private equity and alternative capital providers will have more competition for those assets across Europe because for the last five or six years, most of those transactions have been driven by uh, financial sponsors and uh, other financial investors. It's interesting to see that private equity, which has not become evolved into banking at all before the financial crisis, is now becoming a powerful force uh, for change uh, in the financial industry. They invest into fintech companies with the aim to disrupt traditional business models, to be the force of innovation and new technologies. On the other hand, you see uh, private equity owning uh, banks, traditional banks, uh, where they change business models as well. So you can say that uh, private equity is the powerful force of change uh, in the financial services industry. Financial sponsors are here to stay. They will be more challenged by the re-emergence of stronger banks who've repaired their balance sheets and who've got more firepower in M&A. But I think the combination of very good relationships with regulators, um, the development of good management teams, and the excellent deal experience that they've developed over the last few years means that financial sponsors will continue to be significant deal drivers in this space.